as some of my recommendations on what to do about them. You know, I am a menopausal mom of two young boys, so I'm two years past the menopause. Uh, but let's talk about your menopause symptoms. So maybe you are perimenopause, that 10 year period before the actual change, or maybe right in the thick of menopause, or maybe you're post menopause. But you know, some of these, uh, I think there's 39 symptoms now, mood swings, brain fog, lack of motivation, difficulty in focusing, forgetting the common names of your kitchen items or goodness, headaches, night sweats, hot flushes, um, digestive problems. You can uh, have also um, weight gain. You can become accidentally overweight, um, vaginal dryness, oh my goodness, um, joint stiffness, muscle aches, general fatigue, like feeling really tired all the time. Bloating is the thing that I see a lot in my clinic. Um, dry eyes, uh, skin issues like dry skin, um, sudden sensitivity in your skin, uh, facial hair, hair in odd places, burning mouth, lack of focus, oh, the list goes on. And I tell you, most of my menopausal symptoms were in my head. It was, uh, you know, mostly self-esteem issues and lack of confidence and a little bit of brain fog, like I would seriously forget mid-sentence what I was talking about, my kids would say, or my husband would say, are you gonna finish that sentence? So, you know, there's some of the symptoms, but let's share, let me share with you some of the, uh, some of the protocols that I use with my clients. Um, so for example, you know, what to do about some of these things. So I really encourage you to be very careful about the exposure to xenoestrogens. These are, uh, they can be, endocrine disrupting chemicals and they can be found in the food chain so for example the hormones found in highly processed factory farmed chickens and other meat deli meats particularly they can be bpa found in um, plastics fake fragrances like synthetic fragrances found in cleaning products and body products and candles and air fresheners um, so if you wanted to check out your your cleaning regime and your beauty regime, you can check out an app called um, BigGreenSmile.com so you can actually determine how clean or toxic your products are. I encourage all of my clients to keep alcohol to a minimum and to moderate coffee intake. They both disrupt your hormones. I encourage you to have three to four portions of oily fish a week and a range of cruciferous vegetables every day. The magic ingredient, broccoli, broccoli sprouts, your leafy greens, those foods that are high in magnesium, um, selenium, so seaweed, um, iodine, very, very good for balancing your hormones. So try and eat as, as much organic as possible. Lots of cruciferous vegetables, your kale, your cabbage, your sprouts, your broccoli sort of family, lots of oily fish to balance out your omegas. And take time out for yourself. You know, the menopause is, you know, time to pause, time to rest, time to nourish yourself in a very different way. So if you are struggling with a lot of those symptoms, then please reach out to me because we can test what your hormones are doing. So the Dutch test, which is a dried urine test, tests all your hormones, your sex hormones, your stress hormones, your sleep hormones, the dopamine, the serotonin, like those feel good hormones, the neurotransmitters. It gives us a really good idea of how much hormones you've got left, how well you're metabolizing those hormones. So your phase one, phase two of your detox pathways will have a big part to play in your symptoms. And we can see whether you're favoring androgenic symptoms, which is giving you all those unwanted symptoms like facial hair and my hair in the wrong places and becoming accidentally overweight and really low libido and that brain fog. All right, so if you're wanting to get to the root cause of your symptoms in the menopause month and World Menopause Day, then please reach out to me. But definitely have a think about those key uh, aspects of the protocols. It's like cruciferous vegetables, oily fish, 
reducing alcohol, reducing caffeine, minimizing your stress, and certainly reducing your exposure to those xenoestrogens, which will have 